Action. I thought you were talking. No, you were talking. Oh, hey. So we just thought we would give you a little rundown of our setup, a little info on the costing and things like that, which Joss spent every night, every weekend, getting this ready for us on the road here. Um, so yeah, let's take a little look. Yep. Okay, so let's start with my side of the car. So Your this... side? <laughs> Why is it your side? Because it's on my side, the passenger side. Oh. I'm the passenger. And also the cook. So this is my side here. So um, this is actually probably my favourite thing Joss did with our setup. Um, it is pretty handy. Everything's really easy to get out. So Joss will run through because I actually have no idea what half it's called or how much it is. Yeah, okay. So first we'll start on this side. So down here we've got our electrics. Um, a few switches for lights, a little bit hard to see. Um, our battery monitor, and up here is another monitor, but that's for the charger when you've plugged in the power. Um, we'll talk about 12 volts on our side, but this is the Bushman 130 litre fridge. Um, absolute game changer. Well, we're two months on the road, three months on the road now, and it's just so handy. Um, nice and big, and I think these set you back about. 1500 bucks um, depending on where you get them so that's awesome where'd we get ours we got ours from my generator yeah so they are like online 12 volt store oh they sell a bunch of stuff more than 12 volt stuff but then moving here we've got our camping kitchen set up um, drawer and pantry all by these guys here am off-road so they I think they're based on the east coast and um, they were relatively new when we started building it. I saw it and I saw these the pantry with this these little thingies in them on the outside rather than just having a flat Yeah, river. so we keep everything that we use daily in here. So it's got like most of your condiments, um, dishwasher stuff, sunscreen, um, bug spray and stuff like that. And so if Joss holds the other one. It folds out and it's literally like a pantry. So this just makes life so much easier, so much more organized. I think these aren't cheap. We know these aren't cheap. No, but, um, they are, are they Australian made? Yeah, these ones are Australian made. So we went with quality just because, um, yes, yeah, you're using this every day. So we just wanted to make sure it's easy. Yeah, it's um, aluminium, so it's light. We needed the weight down. So, and then in here, We've got our, just all our utensils, cooking up, cooking stuff, plates, whatever, and then the drawer. So, um, and so this, we use this um, sometimes if we're only staying one night, we'll just cook on top of it with the um, gas stove. Otherwise, um, I use it as just like a chopping board or like just getting things out of here and just putting it there and then putting it all away and stuff like that. Yep. So yeah, I guess this stuff, because it's Australian made, aluminium, really high quality um, they're not that cheap so for both of these um, you're probably looking at just under two thousand um, dollars and but well worth it makes life on the road hell of a lot easier so uh, we rate these and um, I also have done um, a bit of woodwork as you can see here um, don't mind the bend or the curve in that bit of wood but um, that's just to more to utilize this space um, have a bit of a shelf because it was just the top bit of that, so um, yeah, I'm, I'm retiring from being a chippy though, because uh, it's pretty average, <laughs> but it works. The last thing on this side is these. Um, they're just like little LED down lights, um, camping ones from Terraloom. They're the X1 lights. Um, they got a little switch there, so we use them every night. These little lights were, I think they're around 200 bucks for not that much, less. You're like a DJ with your oh. hands. Um, they're around $200 for six of them. So we've got two here, two on the other side and two at the back. Yeah. Oh yeah, those are those ones. On the back, these, um, I got my cousin to whip these up. He fabricates aluminium, so it was handy not to have to pay for them because jerry can holders is pretty expensive. Um, so those are just basic ones, obviously, and then we've just chained up the water and the 
petrol, diesel. Gas bottle holders just from um, eBay. Uh, does the job. We went with a bigger gas bottle so we don't have to change it as often. Rubbish bag. Um, this is also probably one of our favorite products um, that we have because we never actually used to have one and it has been a game changer. Saving all our rubbish from being eaten by birds and just yeah, we, stinks, just put it in there. We used to just have the um, plastic bag and like, hook it on the side and it used to flap and yeah, having it externally is, is way better. Yeah. Camp, don't, it's a dirty stove. Mm. That's just um, our basic little kitchen. Tent. Drifter stocked in 1.4 tent. Um, yeah, we love it so far. Yeah, we do. Um, only thing is, it does flap a little bit in the wind, but I suspect that's most tents anyway. Um, really roomy, lots of ventilation, and honestly takes like, how long do you reckon to put up? A minute. Takes me 30 seconds, takes me again a minute. Two minutes, maybe. <laughs> no, it's really quick. Um, and it just, I don't know. Yeah. We haven't had it in torrential rain yet, so when we do, we'll update you. Um, moving over to here. This, oh, the canopy is MRT canopy. So we bought it as, yeah, just a shell, and then we fitted it out the inside. Um, and this is Joss's side of the canopy, so that's why it's so messy. Well, this is the working side. So this is where all the all the hard work gets done, all the tools, all the spare gear, all the beer. Um, but yeah, this is where we just kind of keep the chairs, the table, everything, um, which just fit in this little section. The drawer, we just thought we'd just go with one big drawer, it's also by MRT. Um, it's just all our, all tools, um, spare stuff, whatever, extension cords, fans, spare toiletries, all that kind of jazz. Um, so it's good. It's handy to have a drawer rather than, I don't know, different crates and stuff. Um, and these, I think these drawers set you back about 900 bucks. Yeah, I think it was about 900. We got, that was the last thing that we added into the canopy because we weren't too sure what we wanted to do with this side, but I think, yeah, that was roughly 900, yeah. bit, maybe a bit cheaper. Um, but it, it's good, it does the job. Um, it's not as, not, probably not at the same quality as the AM stuff, but this is more just a storage drawer, so we open it a lot less. Um, lots of Grab Me Gear stuff, lots of Grab Me Gear bags that we just have like our spare towels and sheets and hammocks and stuff in there. Um, ground mats. Um, what else on this side? This is all our 12 volt. This is the 12 volt area. It's a little bit cramped. Um, but in there we've got our inverters, our 240 volt charger up the back there. Um, and yeah, everything that keeps our Enerdrive. So we've got an Enerdrive 100 amp hour lithium battery right in the back. Um, and so that just keeps all that topped up few switches here for these lights and um, charging points. So we kind of just leave everything charging here, GoPros, batteries, um, cameras, drone batteries, all that kind of thing there. And then we've just got a little basket for our little toiletries that we use every day. Um, and up here is just another little grab me gear, fucking mozzies. Um, grab me gear thing for spare toiletries that we need to get to. Um, so that just lives up there. And Weber. What else? Uh, I think that's about it. Yeah, the, these are just from um, eBay. They're just real cheap ones. Um, they don't seal properly, so we just leave stuff in there that can get dusty and wet and whatever. Um, only wet when you go through water crossings really deep. Yeah. Um, what about the water tank and tap thing? Oh, uh, yes. A good old water tank. So, Joss has just got a little switch here that does the trick. Um, and then, under here we've got our, just our tap. And then, again, another eBay uh, pump. 
just runs like that and then there's a tank that I got off marketplace um, back in Perth about 70 litres which we've bolted onto the bottom of the tray um, so that's separate to the canopy that's always um, there even when we take the canopy off um, so yeah that water's handy and then we've yeah. just got the jerry to spare solar panels from projector um, I think these ones are about 160 watts each um, solid ones they costed about I think about 500 bucks um, so but again lifesavers we rarely have to plug into power so um, we just yeah they're good um, and then the awning we got that off marketplace um, back in Perth we got it off pre-covid yeah pre-covid true for about 600 bucks um, it is the original style, so it doesn't have walls or anything. Um, but again, another, like, yeah, very valuable accessory. So, clothes, well, we have a freestyle cab, so it's like these little suicide doors. Um, clothes was an issue we kind of deliberated for a while, how are we going to pack it and all that kind of stuff. So, this is what we have settled on, and it works wonders so far yeah so we just went to ikea and just thought like which way um how can we utilize like this small space and also keep everything nice and organized so we've just got three of these pull out little things um i feel like they're like nine dollars each or something yeah, maybe like eleven dollars each. they're really cheap yeah um so we've got three on each side so um we just keep things in this one like knickers socks swimmers stuff like that that's the winter stuff and wet weather stuff that we don't really use that often so far and then up here is everything that we use every single day um and then joss is also this is his oh yeah joss the chippy <laughs> uh, built this um it's literally just so we took the seats out we took the seats out of here and i just put in like one board on the bottom just plywood um and then another one here and then um just put some supports in just to give us a bit of like a, a shelf and a drawer slide thing so it works well it's yep. solid. Um, it's you better utilize that space like that rather than um, with the little tiny chairs they had in there. So, yeah. so that's what we've got on each side, and we've just got hats. Up oh here yeah, as well, which is part of I made this as well. Um, what else? That's it. No, what else? That's it. We got these. Got your covered seat covers. Um, local Perth company. Really good, we love them. They save, save us. Um, That's it. Spare tire. Um, Bye. Okay, thanks.